I just want to riff on some good news that I think all of us should at least consider, even if you don't believe like my wife and I, at least seek this out and decide if it's true. Decide if it makes sense and, and that when you seek this, if you find the same thing we found, we believe this is not something that's exclusive to us because we are all created human beings. And, and the wonderful good news about that reality is, is that you have a creator who wants to be known. He wants to be found. He wants you to know who he is. That's a, an objective truth, an objective reality. And we can't speak for the entire world. We just, we figure it out because we're no more or less important than anyone else. We don't see any evidence for that. It doesn't make sense that we would be more or less significant than another created being. Why would he create anyone if he was going to have some sort of hierarchy or class system? He creates us out of his love. And I know this is a deep thought and I can't explain it to you. That's why I'm urging you to seek it. But the, the notion, if you really think about it, that there once was just this one. The creator and there was nothing or no one else the the mere fact that he would choose he would decide that there would be someone else beside him is an incredible act of love and he has done this billions of times since the dawn of time he has decided that there would be others besides him and even though all this calamity and all these things happened since then he has still decided to create more and more people and that's because of the reward he gets when someone does turn towards him when someone does want to know him because of that fact that he wants to be found and when he sees that when he sees that you want to find him he reveals himself to you and you then have a connection an eternal connection a relationship that the two of you can can live in for the rest of eternity. That's amazingly exciting. It's worth all the other stuff he has to go through, I believe. And I, I'm not one for analogies too much because they fail and they just, you know, the only real analogy is what I just said. It's not an analogy, it's just the reality. But if you, if you like analogies, one might be that if you, you had a father but you just didn't know, but yet he wanted you to know him. And he was out there somewhere, and all he wanted was to see a sign that you wanted to know him. And the second you tried to find him, he revealed himself to you. That's, that's kind of what I liken it to, kind of. Like I say, it's not good because there's no analogy like the reality. Because there, there's something even beyond a father, and that is the Creator, who is also your father. He's your Heavenly Father, but in the purest sense. Because he literally formed you in your mother's womb, unlike your earthly father. He is the one who designed you. He gave you certain traits and, and personality aspects and stuff. Even though you still have the freedom to choose to go this way or that way, to use the different resources you have as a human being. And he's fine with that, I'm sure. Again, this is the stuff I found out. He's not trying to micromanage our lives and make sure we only go this way or that way. It just comes out of the broad heading of you have this loving father, this creator, who wants to get to know you and he's accessible to anyone. The only thing that keeps us from him is pride. And again, I understand I am a survey of one and my wife kind of confirms it for me, but I, I wanted at one time in my life for God to be something other than who he is. And that's a, a statement of pride that can come in many forms, can, mostly through religion though. And that was the way I expressed it. I wanted God to be this certain way. But I still wanted to know him. I had some curiosity and that's what opened the door and allowed him to overwhelm my religious or carnal tendencies, which is what that is. Religion is carnal. It has nothing to do with the spirit. And, and 
reveal himself to me in such a way that I was even more hungry and then I could begin to let go of religion and not prioritize it as much as I did. I didn't want him to be who I wanted him to be anymore. I wanted him to just be who he is and I wanted to find out who this one is. So, I don't get long winded here. I just want to share that with you. It's good news. It's universal. And I'm not a universalist. So it's, <laughs> I'm not saying eh, all dogs go to heaven. I'm just saying that the, the availability of God is universal and that all of us can get to know him if we so desire. That's the key component. That's what's beautiful about it. No matter what your station in life is, no matter what your history, your your bad genes or your your privilege or whatever it is you think that is keeping you or hindering you from getting to know him, you can get to know him. He's your creator as much as he's mine or the Pope's or the homeless guy or the rich guy or any of them. He, he is your creator personally, your savior, your Lord, your father, your friend, your brother, your teacher and master and everything. He is that and he wants to be that. He wants to be there to show you who he is and to address the needs you have for understanding and for the things you're seeking, which is probably something like understanding and peace and purpose and acceptance and all that. He has all that. He has it in its most perfect form and he knows how to apply it to you for the individual you are. So just take this as an encouragement to seek it. But if you seek something else, you'll, you'll get that. There are other things in the world to find, whether it's just the world and what you can get out of it. Or religion you will get whatever you seek including false things including things that are not him but if you want him you can have him you simply got to be honest about it and if you're honest you'll know even if you don't really want him it's okay to not really want him just be real about it and then you can address the situation or the question of why don't I really want him why do I want something else Maybe you need to go through that. Struggle is okay. Struggle is fine. Struggle is good. And especially once you do establish that connection, that relationship with him, because from that point on, you're going to be struggling with someone. Someone who is there to help you to get that understanding and that peace and that purpose and all of it. And that's Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen.